Hi, welcome to my channel, Moving to Madison, Wisconsin. I am your host, Mindy Kesnick, and I am super excited to talk to you today about one of my very favorite topics, new construction. New construction has become very, very popular in the Madison, Wisconsin area and surrounding communities because inventory has been short for so long. And so a lot of people come to me with the idea that they want to build. And I am super excited to help them through that process. There are a lot of things to consider when exploring that option. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about where to start and a few things that you can think about when you're trying to decide if this is a good option for you or not. Similarly to purchasing a pre-existing home, the first thing to start with is location. And there's a couple reasons for that. Obviously, we want to know what location you're looking for, whether it's, you know, east side versus west side, or if it's dependent on a school district, or if you're wanting to be in Madison proper. That's where we need to start for a couple reasons. Like I said, if you're looking for a specific school district, we're going to need to know that. If you're looking for a specific side of town, all of those factors can impact the builders that you can choose from. The other thing to consider about location is depending on where you want to be in or around the Madison area, the lot prices are going to change and the types of lots that are going to be available to you may vary from community to community. The last reason that location is so important kind of is what leads me into my next point is price. The price of the lot or the land that you're going to purchase varies drastically from location to location. So we want to know where you're looking and that will be a part of the puzzle that we kind of look at while we're putting these pieces together. Talking about price, obviously budget is going to be a huge factor in whether or not building is the right choice for you. And if you do have a budget that supports building as an option, what does that look like as a total package? Because five or six or $700,000 for new construction can look very, very different depending on, like I said, location, depending on the builder, depending on the type of property that you're looking to either build or build on. And so budget is a huge part of that. When we talk about budget, we're gonna need to look into what are your must have and what are your priorities. If size is a priority, we need to take that into account. If the finishes, you know, you're like, I don't care how big the house is, but I just want top of the line selections. That's gonna matter. The style of home, if you're like, I really want a ranch, well, that's gonna cost you a little bit more per square foot than a, say a two story would. There are a lot of different things, even just within budget that we will have to talk through and educate you on before you really can make that decision, whether or not that's the best route for you. The third thing I wanna bring up today is timeline. Man, building has changed over the last couple years. We used to be able to say, no problem, any builder could get a house start to finish five to six months, no problem. Not only that, but lenders only provided nine months of construction loans to get those houses built. They've had to up that to 12 months, and in some cases more, because it doesn't take six months for a typical build anymore. It can, but that is assuming literally everything goes smooth as butter. There are no delays in product or contractor or you know all the other things that we're seeing you know post COVID these days. That's a really important thing to consider. Like, are you willing to sacrifice a year of your life to go through the build process? Or are you willing to pay a little bit more for maybe a custom builder that doesn't put up as many houses and can typically meet those deadlines a little bit faster? I will tell you from my own personal experience, there is sacrifice to that as well. And like I said, we are gonna dive into all of those things in the coming weeks, which I'm really excited about because again, this is one of my favorite topics. I love new construction and I love educating people about it. So timeline, again, something to consider. You're gonna probably have to find alternative housing for a good six to 12 months. And that is not always super easy in the Madison area and the surrounding communities. Certainly we have rentals and you can find a place to rent but a lot of times they are not willing to do month to month. So you have to think through that and figure out a solution to, you know, finding a sublet or, or taking on that risk of, or paying for a unit for an entire year. The last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about today before we, in future weeks, dive into the specifics of the pros and cons of different builders and things like that is the types of builders that are out there in our area. Learning about the different types of builders and what they can offer and what, like I said, the pros and the cons are to each and every one of them is going to be really important in your selection process if you decide to go down this route. 
Are you looking for a strictly custom, 100% custom builder who will literally be able to sit down at a table with you with a blank piece of paper and sketch out from scratch what floor plan you want and anything and everything else in between? That's a great option. And there are custom builders out there that can either provide you with some plans and you can customize everything inside. And there are builders out there that are literally ready and willing and able to help you draft your own plans, which is super fun and exciting, but it comes with some challenges. Then there's spec houses. Spec houses are a really great option for somebody who is like, I want new construction, but I don't want to make any of the selections. I don't want to wait a year for my house to be done. Typically in our marketplace, which these have dwindled a little bit, but typically you can find a couple spec houses that are basically all the selections have been made. There's little to no var variables with uh, making any changes as far as the interior finishes. So you're kind of, you know, stuck with whatever they have designed. Typically, they're gonna be very on trend and, and what most people are looking for. But they're they're basically either in the works to being done or some in some cases, they're completely done. Brand new construction and you can just like move in in you know, 30 to 45 days or whatever. That's a really great option for somebody who just wants new construction, but they don't wanna go through the, the, the timeline of it and they don't wanna go through this, the selection process because again, that is, it is very, it's a lot. It's, it's like taking on another part-time or full-time job. Then we have what is considered sort of a production builder. And what that means is they have floor plans that you can choose from and they have lots that you can choose from. And then they've got a list of, maybe they'll give you three to five options for any and every single selection that you're gonna pick. The pro, which I don't wanna talk too much about pros and cons because I'm gonna totally dive into that in the coming weeks. But one of the pros is that can really bring the price point down because there's less customization, which for some people is ideal. Less choices, less options, that can be really beneficial for some people. And then the last one is really, you know, there are builders out there that are a little bit in between, like they're kind of considered semi-custom. And that's a really great option too. Like you can change a few walls, you can change a few things within the floor plan. You can have a little bit more options as to the design uh, that goes into it, the different selections they may provide, they may allow you to pick out of 10 or, or more selections versus just the three to five or whatever. However, they do still have a really great process and they've got things dialed in a lot better because one of the, again, I wanna go into all these pros and cons because I just love talking about this so much, but I'll just say this. One of the downsides to a purely custom build is going to be with limitless options comes limitless budget. And that can be a little bit scary to get into. We are going to like totally dive into all of this and talk further and further about this in coming weeks. But I hope that this was helpful for you to kind of understand the different things that you need to think about and consider when you're contemplating whether or not building a new construction home is for you. Especially if you're gonna be completely new to the area, it can feel like a really big undertaking. So if that's the case, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, I can talk about this all day and all night. I love new construction and um, I've been helping buyers and sellers with new construction for quite some time, whether, you know, sellers obviously on the maybe spec home side and then buyers, whether it be helping them find land, helping them find the builder or helping them with the selection process um, and the design part of that. This is something that you are really interested in. Please reach out to me if you are moving to the area and you wanna talk further. I would love to chat with you. I hope you found this helpful and check back as we continue this. Uh, I'm gonna take you on location. We're gonna check out some different options, see some different builder quality, different builder uh, neighborhoods, things like that. Uh, and it'll be a really fun uh, super, sort of virtual tour that you get. I look forward to hearing from you. Again, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to click subscribe and I will see you soon.